Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Nikon One Touch or the L35AF2. It was the second in the L series, came out in 1985. Like the uh, L35AF, it has a 35mm uh, f2.8 lens. This one they cheaped out a little bit. It's four elements in three groups as opposed to five elements in four groups in the original. Uh, it uses DX encoded film. It'll read the codes from 50 to 1600 ISO. Uh, if the canister doesn't have the DX encoding, it sets it to 100. Uh, the lens stops down to f17.5. I don't have a manual, but from what I can tell, the shutter will do um, an eighth of a second to one four hundred thirtieth of a second and the electronically controlled shutter is also the diaphragm. Uh, it'll focus from 0.7 meters you know, hair over two feet to infinity. It's auto everything. Um, film wind, rewind, focus. Um, there's not much in the way of control. Um, one thing that some people have complained about on this one versus the original L35AF, there aren't any uh, threads for filters, uh, even though the CDS sensor would be within the ring. I've heard there was an adapter made, uh, but I've never actually seen it. Uh, it does have this nifty integrated uh, lens cap, which is great if you tend to lose them. Uh, like a lot of these, it's nice, it takes two AA batteries, has this 10-second uh, self-timer. The flash is, if I can get the sucker to fire, uh, guide number 10 meters. Uh, the viewfinder has some good informa information in it. It has the framing marks for your picture. Uh, it has some extra lines for parallax correction has the little pill-shaped uh, autofocus symbol and the distance symbols along the bottom of the viewfinder pretty accurate you do a half press and the needle comes out and shows you what the focus is so this camera is actually a lot of fun for being auto everything so the lens it is still sharp sharp so I'll run another roll through it and I'll see you then